we continue our wonderful journey through Watchtower's propaganda for children, also known as Caleb and Sophia. These videos are produced for Jehovah's Witness children, showing them life lessons of all sorts. These cartoons range from innocent lessons like cleaning your room or forgiving others, to donating money to a million dollar corporation? What the heck? Yes boys and girls, today we're going to learn why Watchtower needs your money. Again, many of you have probably seen this cartoon already, but honestly, this is a certified cult classic. So I wanted to revisit it briefly since it really showcases how low Watchtower is willing to go asking for cash. And it also fits nicely in two of my current series. So sit back, take out your wallet, I mean, donate, I mean, enjoy. so amazing how the message gets right across without speaking a single word. I gotta give it to Watchtower, they can devote an entire hour long broadcast asking for money or a 60 second cartoon with the same effect. <laughs> we have looked forward to this next fiscal year and projected the expenditures for all of the theocratic initiatives we are scheduling. In doing the math, we found that the amount of money flowing out will be much greater than the amount of money that we have coming in at this time. I mean, they, they really have perfected the craft by now. <laughs> so right off the bat, we get a Bible verse. Proverbs 3, 9. I would bet the entire $12 in my bank account that kids watching this are not going to look up this verse. Honor Jehovah with your valuable things with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your storehouses will be completely filled and your vats will overflow with new wine. This is not a message for children. Here the recipient would have a certain amount of wealth and is encouraged to give God a share of his produce. We call this a tithe. Sophia does not have storehouses. She does not have vats. She probably doesn't even have a bank account. She only has this one tiny coin. You're telling me this coin is going to buy her a double ice cream? What era is this? The 1950s? But you know who does have storehouses and a lot of wealth? The faithful and discreet slave, the governing body. The faithful slave, the faithful slave, that slave will exploit you so they can live lives of luxury. Those are both bald-faced lies. This verse promises that whomever offers their first fruits to God will be blessed in abundance. Not spiritual abundance, uh, material abundance. <laughs> if Watchtower is God's chosen organization, then why is it that they're low on cash? Did God fail them? Or is the promise of wealth found in some Bible verses just an empty promise to be abused by prosperity preachers? Hmm. Do you see how many questions arise by just looking up this one Bible verse? And we're literally one second into the video. In case you're not a Jehovah's Witness, let me explain. Kingdom Hall is the buildings where JW's worship has two or three donation boxes at the back of the hall. Jehovah's Witnesses take big pride in the fact that they don't pass around a money platter during their services, like the Catholic Church does. But then they go and produce this video asking children for money. As much as I looked around, I could not find the video produced by the Catholic Church encouraging children to donate. 
I guess Babylon the Great hasn't catched up to Watchtower's glorious methods of extracting money from children. But where is Sophia's money going? Will it be used to feed the poor, to house the homeless, to shelter the oppressed? Will God's one true religion give back to the people that have sustained it for so long? In a spirit of generosity that Christ displayed, oh, they're building kingdom halls. We all stayed for Watchtower. <laughs> Since these churches are built by volunteers and paid for by donations from these same volunteers, the Watchtower later on decides to sell this building they essentially make a huge profit. <laughs> There's no charity in these buildings, no giving back to the community. This place serves one major purpose, indoctrination. And it's also an effective place to gather cash donations. Second, we have special pioneers. These are Jehovah's Witnesses who are assigned by headquarters to work in a special assignment and are given a monthly salary. These volunteers don't live lives of luxury by any means, but if you have thousands of them out in the field, well, the money to sustain them must come from somewhere. What are these missionaries asked to do? Will they feed the hungry, house the homeless? No, more indoctrination. And the least effective method at that, <laughs> standing next to a literature cart and waiting for people to approach you. I said it before and I'll say it again. You could place a potato right next to the cart and they would do exactly the same job. Plus, you don't need to feed and house a potato. The last one is the worst. Sophia's ice cream money is going directly to Watchtower. To produce, you guessed it, more propaganda and also feed the workers making this propaganda. Money is required to make these cartoons, so this episode was in effect an advertisement asking for money. It's quite a vicious cycle. In the grand scheme of things, this one coin made no lasting difference in the amount of wealth Watchtower has. But that doesn't matter, because this is about sending a message. Everyone needs to donate. Put Watchtower's interest ahead of your own. This was a perfect opportunity to encourage children to be generous by helping their brothers and sisters in need, but cult gonna cult and Watchtower completely fumbles the ball once again. I'm actually surprised the governing body has not deleted this video from their website because in my opinion, it's one of the worst propaganda pieces they made. But sadly, it's not the worst. Stick around for the next episode because we are diving deep into the infamous homophobic Caleb and Sophia video. You won't wanna miss it. Do me a favor, treat yourself to a double scoop ice cream today you earned it. And if you want to buy one for me, catch me on Patreon. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. This has been your host Panda. We'll see you next time. Bah. Goodbye, little sheep.